Welcome back to Zilanka, everybody. Episode 5. It is raining. So we can't really go ahead and harvest these carrots until the rain quits. But we do have our preserved food and our beets have been produced over here. Ah, just around the corner here. Looking good. We got a few pallets. And we might as well get some money for them. It's not at the top, but it is something. Pretty close to the top. And those will sell at Allen Grant. So what I think we need to do is get a forklift over here. And then we'll have to bring the truck over and we get these loaded while it's raining. Uh, let's take a look at the sales. Wow, look at this D-Wolf. This harvester. Yeah, so this one actually holds a little in the hopper and it can keep the worker going. And we won't have to worry about being uh there to unload all the time so that i think this will be good to do especially at this price we'll buy that thirty-three thousand, and we're going to need a forklift for our preserve factory bit of a jump here in price i think we'll go with the manitou thirty-seven thousand. let's go ahead and buy that so we are down to sixty-three thousand. So while we're here, we might as well take a look at the picker. <laughs> look at this thing. It is a single line picker, so it's still going to take us one little row at a time. But we do have that hopper, which will make it very lovely for the worker to keep on going. We do probably will go ahead and sell our old one, I think. But like I said, let's go ahead and get those pallets loaded, I think, today. I think what we'll do is probably for each business just strive to let them have their own forklift i think i do want to get to the soup factory uh quite soon too if we can it's just going to take some time to get the capital so we're, so we're starting low again or ending up low i should say we're spending we're spending like it's going out of style all right we'll go in the second driveway here because this one should lead us right to our pallets there they are lovely pallets ready to go so we can get them speared nice and easy here. We're going to have to double stack, I think. Ah, here we are. Should be able to get these. I think we can get them all in. This might be kind of wide. Well, we'll give it a shot and see what happens here. Don't break a jar. Double stacked on jars. Yeah, you can only go one wide here. We're gonna have to, um... Yeah, this might be a little trickier than I thought. Well, we actually might be able to do three deep here. I think so. I think we're in luck. Alright. Let's get in the last stack here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, look at that. That truck is actually going to do us pretty well, I think. I didn't think I was going to all fit on there at first, but it, it definitely did. All right. Shut this guy off. Excellent. Yeah, like I said, I think each of our businesses should have their own forklift, so we'll kind of strive to go that direction. Latch these in, close up our tailgate, and I guess we'll head on off to the train. taking her nice and easy here. It is a little top heavy so we don't want to go too fast. Gotta get there in one piece. Gotta get there with all the pieces, right? There goes the train! So it's gonna be a while before we can uh, get it called back again, but it is what it is. Yeah, we'll call the train right away so we can to move in here it'd take a little while to come back probably ah uh, so I'm trying to think 
it would be nice if we actually did this legitly with a forklift, but we're actually not going to be able to get the forks in anyway to get these front two. So we're going to have to use super strength, unfortunately, but... Yeah. I suppose if we had a trailer, we could do it. It's like the train's on the way. In reverse. Luckily, he doesn't have to steer, I guess. Whoa. There goes our car. We'll have to, uh... And I guess here, I think, where we're going to end up. You can kind of see, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, about right in here. Be great. Alright. Let's get these loaded on our flatbed here and... There we go. Strap them all in at the front, I guess. Make sure we get them all so we don't lose any going these mock speeds on this track. You know, we might lose a pallet or two. Okay, let's see if we can see it at least. Uh, strap. I suppose I need to select that train car, maybe. There we go. We strapped them in, it appears. 6,000 liters apiece, and we shall get moving to Erlingrat. Let's see if they all sell or if uh, they go flying at the sell point. <laughs> that used to happen on the Silver Run Forest. There we go. And looks like they got them all. All right. Yeah, so we got 31,994 for those. So we'll head back onto the farm and then we'll sell that old picker that we started with and then we'll try the new one out. Should be nice to have a hopper on there. All right. Just park this back in our driveway. We shall head on down to the store. So we didn't get a whole lot of use out of this, but we did do a couple rows, which was interesting, but <laughs> is definitely a job. Uh, let's see, is it folded up here? Alrighty, so what do we think we're going to get for this thing? 32,000. Well, let's go ahead and repair it. Repaint it. 35. Let's go ahead and sell that. Damn. All right, we're back up above a hundred thousand again. That's that's always good. Yeah, this is a, a pull behind. Makes a little more horsepower, but the old one was eighty. This one's a hundred horse. We should be good with these tractors. All right, let's head on down to the farm. It's one thing I forgot to do while we're over at the sales was to uh, get this repaired before we start using it because we'll probably lose a little bit of crop if we don't get it repaired. So I'll run up behind our house here and get her all fixed up and then we'll let it loose, I guess. Hopefully the repair is not uh, anything insane. Repair, yeah, we're good. Oof. Looking at the value of it, and it was like, wow. It does have some hours on it, so we're going to make the best out of this, I guess. Okay, I guess we'll start on this end. So we should be able to just turn them loose. Since we have a hopper. Let's get her unfolded. Here it's are all set and ready to go. Let's see, we gotta be on this end to start. I'd like to try it out myself a little bit once here. 
Let's see how it goes. Going through, up the conveyor, and into our bulk storage area. Excellent. Let's go ahead and hire a worker then. We can actually watch it a little bit better while the worker's going. Yeah, this should make life a lot easier. Now we have to wait for us. We can just let them fill up. Chugging right along here, too. About just over a quarter. Well, that's about a third full, I guess. Get this out of the way. Oh, is he going to back up the whole row? Oh, there we go. I left the flashers on that tractor, too. Uh, the only thing with doing it this way, well, I guess we should be pretty close. It looks like we're going to be running down some crop. Oh, actually, let's see if he goes up with this unloading. There we go. Oh, he's going to have to stop to unload. That's interesting. Okay, we got to get closer here. Here we go. First carrots. Look at that. Alright. Very good. So we're going to get cracking here and uh, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. So yeah, it looks like we ran into a bit of a tiff down here with the worker, and the issue was is that uh, that spot we have when we were getting these rows straight. So we do need to get a plow so we can uh, make these fields more straight. I wanted to get the corner down here fixed too as well. I'll just wait for him to show up down here so we can take over and get him fixed up. There we go. Pipe out. It's a lot of carrots. Alright, now we should be able to well, let's get this tractor out of the way first. Pretty full. We can go up and dump while he finishes off the rest of his field, I think. We ain't gonna get it all on anyway. Alright, see what happens here. Have at her. Alright, to the preserve factory we go. Alright, our first dump of the carrots of the series. Excellent. I guess we can go ahead and fire up that production, shut the other two off here. So we just sold those.
Alright, just finishing up the last little bits here. Yeah, that, the worker was definitely having issues. So we're going to have to get these rows straightened up just a bit. So I'll have to get like a... I'll just get a small plow. It'd be nice to get a square one though, but... I guess realistically, we just need a... Actual plow. If we're going to do it legitly here. Alright, that's the last of the carrots right there. We get these dropped off, put up into the preserve factory, then I think, I think we'll go ahead and buy a plow so we can get these rows straightened out right away. There we go. Definitely a different harvester, but I guess it changes up the gameplay a little bit. We're going to have to start looking at, so we're not going to get it all on, I don't think. Nope. Alright, we'll go ahead and dump, and then we'll be back. I think we're going to have to look at getting another field purchased. I do want to get some different sheds though soon. So we kind of got to figure out what's... I could build them back. Well, a lot to think about here. So let's just take one step at a time, I guess. Alright, one load in. Another load. Very good carrot harvest, that's for sure. The two rows made a difference. I think we could, if, when we get that plow... Put another smaller row on the end and keep it square. But I think since we got the land, we might as well put another row in, I think. Be a little close to the road, but like I say, it's there. Might as well use it. Alright, we get this guy folded up, put away. Oops, gotta extend that. Yeah, I like this harvester. It definitely made it a little bit easier. Again, the workers were still a challenge, but I think uh, they got to be tweaked a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're going to need a shed, I think, some some point here. It's just getting too uh, cluttery around the farm. So we got to go this way this time with this one so it don't stick out on us. Something like this should be good. Alright. Alright, so what I think we're going to do is... Oh, let's grab the Fiat. So we have a weight in front. I think what we're going to do is purchase a plow. Just a small one would be great. So this, this Salak one here. Half a meter. Actually, these agro ones don't look too bad. They're priced nice and decent. We should go with the three one. Let's see here. Wheel setup. Standard. Additional extension bar. Must be all cosmetic there. And we could change the color. Oh, they're all reds anyway. All right, we'll just uh, go with that. 3,400. Not bad. Alright, so we'll run down and pick that up. I want to double check here as we pick this up that there should be an option to create a field. There it is. Allow create fields. Perfect. That's a decent size too. That should be... That should do us well. Alright, let's give this a shot, huh? Alright, so first things first. I think what we'll do is try to square off this into this field here see how good this goes probably gonna be kind of hard to get it square square but we can overdo it I suppose and then we can use the brush to correct it later on okay let's do allow create fields all right there we go we should be able to just drop her down here and we'll see what happens Try to stay square. I think we're gonna have to tidy it up a little bit with the landscaping tools, but do the best we can here.
Yeah, the more I look at this, I, I'm kind of deciding that not to putting another field there is probably going to be our best bet. Um, might even be kind of cool to put some kind of a shack over on this side. Yeah, I think we'll just brush over that. That's not to my liking at all. Field's going to be so small anyway that make much of a difference there. I do feel like something does need to be there, though. Well, whether it's trees or something, I don't know. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, that actually turned out pretty good. I think squaring that field off, we might have a touch up here or there. We'll have to figure out once we start doing the ridging. And see how good it comes out. Actually, yeah. There might be a spot right there, but like I said, we'll do the ridging and see what happens. That's probably for next year. Alright, so I think on the next episode, we're going to have to figure out... I think we should figure out some land to buy. Let me shut this... Uh, create fields off so we don't accidentally do that. That would be bad. Yeah, we kind of got to figure out where we want to get our next field, I think, so we can start expanding. And like I said, maybe we'll tear the shed down. There's a lot of options we could do here. But uh, that's for another episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.